she's not going to be scoring 28 points a game, at least not anytime soon. But her ability to pass. Now, I know she has a lot of turnovers. She's, she's trying. Now, that, that can also be an indictment on her teammates as well. But she is always looking for the pass, and she's very, very good. And I remember Maravich. Maravich w- could be a great passer. I think Pete always looked for degree of difficulty. And that he wanted it to be a, a great pass, like behind the back, uh, through the legs. Caitlin's not doing that. She she can do that. But, uh, you know, that was a big win. And right now they're in the playoff race. But there's still a lot of basketball left to be played. And even, you know, you have people, everybody has their opinion on who's the rookie of the year. And Don Staling, great coach, South Carolina, came out and said, what this is expected of Caitlin Clark. She's supposed to be great. She's not the rookie of the year. Angel Reese is because that's a surprise, which to me is wrong because Angel Reese was the best player on the team that won a national championship in college. It's not like she came out of nowhere. And she's been a really consistent player. But you don't say, well, that person, should LeBron not have won the rookie of the year because he was supposed to win it? Like, wait, we're, we're creating arguments here. And really, there's none. Angel Reese has had a really good year. A double-double is something that we can go, oh, I can grab a hold of that. Man, she's got double-doubles. Okay. She does just about every night. Caitlin Clark has a bullseye on her back every single game. You must stop her. I don't think you look at Chicago and go, boy, if we stop Angel Reese, we're going to win. And that's why this is a silly argument. Caitlin Clark is the Rookie of the Year.